Hey guys, Ogi Sanjay and welcome to the channel. If you guys like Lost Ark as much as I do, you should go ahead and subscribe to the channel as I will be posting Lost Ark stuff quite frequently on this channel and be covering it for the foreseeable future. So this is the place for you to be to stay up to date with everything Lost Ark. Now with that out the way, let's hop straight into today's video. Today I want to talk to you guys about a quick little thing on the MaxRoll website. I will have this link down in the description for you guys, but yeah, MaxRoll, you just come there to Lost Ark and then it has a lot of good stuff for it but we're going to go to resources and we're going to go to the upgrade calculator now this is useful when you're trying to plan what alts you want to push and just how much materials you need more or less to know what you need to get from like say for example 1340 to 1370 or if you get a new character to t3 what you're looking at like paying if you're going to buy all the materials to get it to 1370 let's go through this and show you guys how to use it it's quite simple once you understand how it works so there's t1 2 and 3 available we're just going to focus on t3 for now as t1 is 100 percent but obviously you can still go work out the materials you'll need to get a new character up to t3 so with the t3 weapon and armor of yeah the 1302 gear that's the starter gear that you actually get and this will go to 1370 being at plus 15 and then for the next set of yeah the 1340 this is actually the the crafted relic set that you can get once you get to 30, uh, 1445 but then this will be once you actually want to try and progress past 1370 so if you're trying to work out how much it's cost you to get a 1370 ult to 1415 you would have to put the weapon and armor at this and this would actually be 1370 item level but plus six technically so let me show you guys basically with the armor so we'll go with the start with the armor so from zero to plus 15 that is the levels over there and then the count we can actually put five since you do have the five armor pieces and then over here you can actually choose your stronghold research the t3 the first one over there you get once you get to 1385 on your main you will unlock that stronghold research and the second one down below there is actually the 30 oh you need to be 1460 to unlock this one in the stronghold on that research it is check the boxes whichever ones you have if you have both go ahead and check both of those and now all you do once you've selected the count and the armor to 15 we just click add so that's the cost that's going to cost you to get a new character from 1302 to 1370 so plus 15 on the starter gear this is what you're looking at there's the silver the gold honor shards um the rear fusion there's the guardian over there there's the leaf stones and then obviously we all need to put in a weapon as well but the count we want to put that down to one as you obviously don't have five weapons so if we add that that is the prices you are looking at for the straight from 1302 to 1370 and this is average case scenario i believe it's like two to three tapping everything maybe four taps on some of them but you could also go worst case scenario and then uh does that actually update it oh yeah it actually updates it for you straight away so you don't have to change any so that is worst case scenario there's the materials are looking at that's pretty much what it used to be back in the day because there's the honor leaps don't you need about a thousand but now average case with the honing buff it is substantially cheaper right now to get them to 1370 and then the next part i would actually want to show you guys so we'll go ahead and reset this is how you actually work out from 1370 onwards so we're going to start at 1370 with the armor so the armor will put there and then from you've got to put six because it drops down to plus six when you craft it and then 215 will actually get you to 1415 but we're actually going to work this out differently so we're going to get um three of our pieces to plus 12 so we we'll go to three on the armor and then you click add and now that's to get three pieces to plus 12 and then you'll get another two pieces to plus 17 add that like that and we go to the weapon over there we'll go from six to i think it was plus 11 on the weapon so we go add over there and that is the price over there what it's going to cost you more or less to get a alt from 1370 to 1415 using the cheese method where you actually get your armor pieces three of them to plus 12 and the other two to plus 17 and then your weapon to plus 11 so this is the cheapest method so to say to do it and then you can actually work it out individually how you do it this is also average case scenario so you're looking at about 6.7 more silver 27,000 gold just in raw gold for honing 280,000 honor shards uh, there's the Aureas, a thousand of those. We've got 14,000 of the Destruction, 62,000 Guardians, and then 1,600 Greater Leaps. And that is without using any books. You could also change this to Best Case Scenario. And then I believe you can also add the additional material. So Best Case is like one to two tapping everything. I don't like doing that. I like putting on the average. And then you go Optimal Materials. 
but then we'll calculate it for you and show you how much materials it actually used on each section over there to show you how many of those so you can use the sun protections the solar protections solar blessing solar grace and then there is the book as well i think we scroll over here there's the book they're both books you only use 12 of them in in total and for this one of here i use quite a few more the weapon is 12 in total and then the armor one is quite a bit more i think 51 in total yeah that's the total the top there so you can see it's a lot cheaper if you do actually end up using um, juice materials i recommend using juice materials if you have them but don't go out and buy them because they're pretty pricey but run your cubes and maps and all that kind of stuff and get these and agros and just all kind of raid content will give you these books there is the event vendors as well to get those books so yeah you always want to use uh, juicing materials so that's pretty much it guys so if you want to take out any of these things over here you just reset and then you can add them whatever you want so if we were we're just going to go the normal way with the armor we could go to plus five over there and then plus 15 like the normal way just make sure you set it to from six so that's actually then 1370 so bam we'll add that real quick and you can see with optimal materials average scenario uh, we could even put this to no additional materials and you see it's a lot more expensive optimal is like half the price pretty much but then this would be from 1370 to 1415 just the old-fashioned way straight like straight to the point without doing any of the cheesing of getting two items to plus 17 so you just got to work around there and play around with the calculator but overall really nice little tool to have and understand so you can do this kind of stuff and work it out push all the alts to at least 1370 i would recommend it right now if you can get them at least there so they can start getting greater leaps so you can then push them to 1415 and enjoy this galuda simulator anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video if you found it helpful please drop a like and a subscribe to the channel it helps me out so much and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Okay, send out. Run free and dive into the sky. Here go.